mistake. Yeah. We were wrong. Mm -hmm. I say, okay, cool. Then I watch Joe say in a very condescending, sarcastic tone, Roy came to me and said, it's not that I don't trust you. It's that I don't trust wealth management. Well, he said the name, so I can say it. Mm -hmm. Fam, yeah. I don't care how condescending you say that. And it, and it contradicts the fuck what you were saying. I never thought you were stealing. Right. I'm trying to understand what the fuck they're doing over here because mm -hmm. this is incorrect. Right. And I, and I sit behind this expense. Mad More simple. importantly, more importantly I'm simple. paying for this. Right. Again, these bum ass things talk too much. Let me let me tell you also what I've heard because uh, I was at the you know what I mean I was at the gun range you know I me mean? doing my little thing earlier. <laughs> Got to stay prepared. Um, but I heard that this was coming, and in having conversations and and whatever. They're taking a long time to get to the point. These bozos are claiming. I don't know if they'll say it on this video, but they're claiming. This is what they are saying to people, to lawyers, to managers, to friends, to industry aficionados that they believe Joe. They're being really kind of like dicey on if they're trying to call him a thief, but they're saying that Joe owes them money. And they feel it's in the millions. Okay? That's what I heard. Okay? Also heard that it probably will go to a lawyer or possibly lawsuits because with that particular amount of money, Even more than Ruri, niggas like Mealy Maul. Actually, I heard he was present. Niggas want to get paid. Now, just putting everything together, because they're talking too slow. These things are... Who the fuck listens to them? They're saying they have a profit participation with the Joe Budden podcast. Not owners, you're still workers, but you're having a profit participation. It's talent. Cool. cool. Now, if you're feeling you're owed millions of dollars, you mean... And I don't know what what, what profit or, or what's the percentage on the participation. You probably think that Joe has gotten millions of dollars that you have not shared in, right? Um, I guess that's up for debate. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't know if Joe Budden's business. You know what I mean? I always said that, like, if Joe did sign a contract with them to say they have profit participation in the podcast, I'm gonna be honest with you, Joe. I love you, but you fucked up. If you were going to run the business like that, it's your IP, you own whatever, whatever, you should have never offered them that. Because here's the thing, Joe. Most of these deals coming in, and you notice, well, they're coming in for you. They're not coming in because of these two niggas. Again, the Spotify deal, Spotify never felt a need to talk to them. They felt a need to talk to you. Just like Revolt. They didn't feel a need to talk to me. They felt a need to talk to you. Who are they trying to give these deals to? Those people they're talking to. So Spotify was trying to give you the money. Revolt was trying to give you the money. I'm pretty sure, and I think I hear the Cash App deal is on his podcast now, but that was on his pull-up episodes before. Cash App was trying to give you the money. Now, you fucked up if you allow these niggas to basically be owed a percentage off of your podcast and then all those deals end up being on the podcast they might have a point i'm being honest that's where joe might have fucked up that's just what it is but i do believe joe's probably thinks these deals came in because of me well if that's your thought you should never offer pro profit participation to the bozos to the stooges that's a fact i'm not here to, again I'm, I'm i'm impartial with it that's why these bum ass thing has been driving Kias and all that shit, man. They 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 trying to level up. I get it. Joe, you might have fucked up, and if you fucked up, you might have to pay up. But you should never gave if you, because I really feel Joe feels all these deals came in because of me. Right now, any deal I've ever talked about, I I, yo, I pitched a show by the way. I pitched a show it was me and somebody else. I won't tell who it is. You know what the person told me. Act. Pitch it as if you're the only entity on the show. Because it's more difficult to deal with two people than it is to do, deal with one. 
And I realized that they were down to, they were basically telling me, we want you primarily. It doesn't matter if the other person's there. If you want to include them, you do it on your own time. But we only want to deal with you. Which, you know what that's going to tell me? They're offering this money primarily for me. I'm giving you exactly what's going on with Joe. Joe probably feel a little bit away about splitting in certain ways with these bum-ass niggas because everybody is only dealing with him. And that's what I was saying about these two stooges. We're 19 minutes in. I'm going to play, keep playing what these bums are saying in a second. But let's just be very clear. What they're definitely not going to uh, uh, um, touch on during this whole little speech that they're doing, trying to explain shit away, why in six years did y'all never do anything outside of the show to create additional value and additional leverage? Why? Because before Joe talked, I thought Joe was preventing them from doing it. And that would make sense. If I prevented somebody from branching out, of course I got to give them some type of value into what they're already, they're locked into doing solely. But these niggas have never done anything else but this. Why haven't they talked about that? Because you're not sitting up here with a, with a little mean screw face talking about, yeah, 400,000 is a lot of money, but if 400,000 is what you're owed over six years that you supposedly ain't get, how much are you really getting? Now, I know 400000 is a lot of money, 100%. But that's about, you're pretty much saying for two of y'all, let's do the math, 400000 six years, right? Even if it was four years, it would be 100000 per year. If it's six years, it's probably about 80000 a year. It's two of y'all. Y'all arguing about $40,000 a year over six years. Huh? I'm just trying to put it in perspective, but listen to this. And on top of that, there should already be podcast accounting. Mm -hmm. You saying everyone has to run and do all this and it's, you're taking away from the overall goal. But like, fam, I'm just asking for what's in the contract. <laughs> your, your lawyer, if you should know your, all right, you should know your contract the same way you saying that to me. If this was going to be an issue, you should have told your lawyer that you did not agree on accounting. Right. Yeah. Your lawyer, your lawyer agreed to accounting. Mm hmm. A body of an email and an Excel spreadsheet that people punch numbers into is not accounting. I don't care what you say. As a profit partner, that's not how it it's works. It's not accounting. I've talked with every lawyer and accountant I possibly fucking could have because I didn't want to be wrong on this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't. Listen, I'm new to this the same way we all were new to this. Mm -hmm. We've all run business shit outside of this, but this is a new thing, especially to the degree of money that the three of us have gotten from it. Right. Rory, I'm going to give you another business lesson. Again. In a, in a place where income is coming in from many different places, you're not entitled to see every single thing. I keep telling you, you are a worker. When Complex gave me my, the accounting for everyday struggle, they're not telling me what other complex entities that I have no... That I, I heard about what money came in, but they don't have to tell me where that went. All they got to tell me is how much was allocated for my show. I've been telling y'all this. The reason why even if Joe Budden's finessing y'all, y'all are going to feel it. And y'all probably going to catch, going to have to hold that L. Joe Budden makes a lot of money from a lot of different places. Y'all are only in concern or should only care about the podcast. Because of that. You really can't, you're not, audit, like, I know y'all saying y'all audit in the podcast, but really y'all want to audit Joe. Joe also is seen as a podcast by some. Remember I just said, Cash App gave that nigga money for the pull-up, and then he was able to, because they really only want Joe, Joe was able to throw that Cash App sponsorship to the podcast. Do you understand what I mean? That's where it gets tricky. I hope you guys are staying on. These are dumbass niggas. I ain't gonna lie to you. They probably don't get it. The point is this. Joe is not only getting money from the podcast. Y'all are only getting money from the podcast. If Joe wants to finesse you, he could do it in mad different ways. You know why? 
because Joe could just basically claim that that, that Cash App deal, even though it's on the podcast, 80% of that is for Joe personally and 20% of the podcast. You know why he could do that? Because Joe owns the fucking, he's Joe. He's complex in that situation. I seen how much money that a company cut for on the, on the sticks epi, um, the first season. I said, oh, my God. After we do our pro profit participation splits, I'm going to have a bag for just six episodes. By the time I got accounting, it wasn't half the money that I heard. It wasn't even, no, it was about one-third the money. Was it one-third? No. A quarter of the money. You know why? Being the owner, you get to allocate shit. I got the deal. I'm the owner. Only a quarter goes to that show. A quarter is going over here. A quarter is going over here. We did a bigger deal with that particular company. If you're not a boss, who are you to say that the deal with, with Cash App, that Joe Budden Spotify deal, was solely only for the podcast. Y'all have never seen those contracts. It's easy for Joe to finesse y'all, you dumbass niggas. And that's exactly why I, kept, I keep saying, when y'all keep talking, y'all not workers, you are workers. Because even if you audit him, he could just put some shit in a fucking column that it's none of your business. He only has to show you what is allocated for the podcast. Who makes the determination what money goes to the podcast versus what is for the network versus what is for Joe Budden primarily? Joe does. Patreon. If Patreon gave Joe a million dollars, they gave him a title and also the podcast is over there. You know what he can say? 950000 is for me as, as a salary. 50000 goes to the podcast. Now, you can sit there all blue in the face all you want. Well, well, you, you, well, well, they wouldn't have gave you that if the podcast wasn't there. That's cool, but you don't own it. You don't fucking own it, dummies. I'm telling you. Even if he's finessing y'all, robbing y'all blind. This is the same thing I was telling y'all when y'all ain't at the table that's really breaking bread, negotiating deals, and making decisions. That's why you're a worker. After my experience with Complex, I learned so many different things. I start, I, I, I don't want to front some of my own moves, just trying to make a point. But I, I said, I need these relationships and I need to be Complex. Joe dealt with Complex and he got fucked. You think Joe didn't think the same thing? We giving you business. And I'm glad, at least so far, y'all ain't confusing friendship and business, but that's what y'all did when y'all went back. Oh, don't know, we friends, you're not supposed... No, it's business, niggas. But let's, let listen, let's listen to these niggas. This is a new thing. Right. So I went back and double-checked, because I don't even want to accuse my man that... Right, maybe I'm wrong, because everything I've done has been through ledgers, quick It was books, never no everything. accusations. Ever, it, it was not never, once. It was never... He was the one that, that brought that to the table, like, you know, y'all are trying to paint me a certain way, and I'm like... What are you talking about? Like we're just saying that we've we received accounting okay. and then there was a four hundred and something thousand dollar quote unquote mistake. And after that, we never got accounting again. So I'm just like, all right, so what the fuck is going on? Like, is the mistake fixed? Can we get the updated version of accounting? Like nothing. So wealth management hits me, says, Hey, yeah, we made a mistake. We're correcting the mistake. Here you go. I said, Okay, bet. I talk with Joe, or I talk with Ian, honestly can't remember, about a better strategy to go about doing this. From Rip, I've always been the one on trying to do a better strategy with going about these things because I've noticed, and I'm and at this point, not mad at it, I've just noticed anytime I ask a very simple question, I met with so much anger and tension off like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So my accountant gets on with wealth management. My lawyer gets on with wealth management. They even talk about, yo, just come down. We'll open shit up. You guys could look at it. I wasn't even going to go. Why would I go? I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My accountant can go. Mm -hmm. Just to get the, the record. I hate these niggas. I fucking hate them. I'm, let me tell you why I hate these niggas. Chat, if it's not apparent by how I act and how I move, I live, breathe, shit, sleep, 
I dream about hip hop, what I do. This is my life. There's no, I don't even like, ha my fun is this. This is more fun. This is more fun than anything I do in life. Maybe other than fucking. That's it. But that should be clear and apparent to anybody who watches me. I hate me. So my accountant gets on with wealth management. My lawyer gets on with wealth management. They even talk about, yo, just come down. We'll open shit up. You guys could look at it. I wasn't even going to go. Why would I go? I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my accountant can go. Mm -hmm. Just to get the, the regular shit, because maybe they have a lot going on, and maybe my accountant can just look at it and be like, all right, bet. That's the end of 2019. Pandemic hits. Who gives a fuck? No, we had a, we had a talk. No, because we can't skip over this. We had a talk before the pandemic hit about accounting again. And this was right after Cole passed away, and we were outside the studio. And he was the first, because now I'm seeing this narrative that we're auditing him. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was the first one that even brought auditing to the table. When we asked him for accounting, he said, yeah, I got accounting. We said, yeah, but that was wrong. It was a mistake on that. Like, where's the new one? And he was like, oh, y'all trying to paint me away, da, da, da. And I'm like, no, we just want the correct accounting. Oh, so, well, then audit me then. I and I'm like, audit you? I'm like, audit fam, me. that's nasty. I'm not taking my <laughs> niggas to court. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, that's just... Chat, I hate these bum ass niggas, man. Because I hate yo. Chat, do you understand that these niggas? I, I'm gonna restate the position that I've heard. They feel Joe owes them millions of dollars. I've heard that Mealy Mole is like, fuck it. I guess we might not end up be friends, whatever, whatever. But the nigga owes me bread, and I want my money. Bro, Joe ain't gonna just hand down money. You probably are gonna have to sue him. I hate that these niggas are still trying to drive home this narrative like they're too real for what's actually going on. This is a business dispute at this point, and lawyers are and will be involved. I remember a couple weeks ago, niggas was like, oh, Agua's lying. They're about to sue. Yes, nigga. Lawyers are going to be involved. Joe is not giving these bum-ass niggas millions of dollars out the blue for nothing. If they want it, they're going to have to sue. But you keep hearing these things. I don't want to. Bro, like, that's where y'all at with it, you dumbass nigga. This is not, but, but again, looking back, everything makes sense now. Like, everything is starting to come together and, 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 and paint a picture. Because it's like, yo, why do you always get so hostile and so argumentative when we're trying to just get the business side right and focused and taken care of? Which isn't even a, a large part of the business. Honestly, it's not so much more, but it's it. like, fam, you got to remember <laughs> again, thing. we're profit partners. We're a percentage based. We have a percentage based contract, an agreement where we get a percentage off of everything that's coming in for the pot. So we have to see the money that's coming in. How else will we know what the fuck we getting? And then he had the nerve to say the last one of the last conversations we had. He tells me, oh, you got a calculator, right? Uh, yeah. And this is this is this for me. This That's is when my story, this ahead. is when for me, I was like, OK, I'm going to have to pull away from this in a minute because I don't even know who this nigga is anymore. And I don't know who this nigga think he talking to. And I'm fam. I'm not trying to that energy to me is corny to even have that type. Tat business and friendship don't work. I haven't spoke to Joe in weeks, so don't think that this is what Joe told. No. If you ask me, Joe still feels a way because he brought it up randomly. That this nigga who was homeless, hiding detergent and Tide Pods under his pillow. And literally without a future, his brother didn't give a fuck about him. Is now pressing him for money when Joe was nice enough to give him an opportunity. Again, Joe ain't the best CEO because Joe is also kind of like them in mixing feelings and business. So he's like, damn, a nigga who was living with me, like loafing off of me, selfish as fuck, hiding Tide Pods under his pillows, this motherfucker is, is pressing me about money? Maybe I can understand. Not saying Joe is right, because business is business. But that's why when you go into business with your friends, you have to establish clear boundaries. Type of energy with, with niggas you call your friends. Like, I don't even want to have that type of energy on me, right? So when he started talking like that, 
And I told you this. I said, fam, I'm not even sure who this nigga is anymore. Because he's saying things. He's moving a certain way. He's wearing funny hats. <laughs> I don't know who this nigga is. That's a great comment right there. He's 